as the light is spiking back. Pulled the red eye. So we have not had much sleep and now we're going to try and spend a whole day in the Osaka, so... Even you are. One choice. One choice. Only one choice. No, 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 no. After we made a necessary pit stop for some yakisoba, we headed to Kay's mum's house where we were greeted by little Leon who is as cute as ever. Oh my god, just look at him. After we unpacked at Kay's house, we headed straight into Umeda, which is the center of Osaka because Kay actually had a hairdressing appointment booked for that evening. So we figured we'd just go in a little bit earlier, maybe do some wandering around and see what we could find. And there was this gorgeous smell near the station that drew us into these cute little mini croissants. Under a dollar each. Oh, that was fast. How much was it? Oh my god, that's amazing. This is menthe cock. Menthe cock. Mm. Interesting combination. But it kind of gives ham and cheese vibes. Right up. Oh. In a weird way. But the bread itself is really nice. Let's try strawberry. I think this is the one that smelled really good. Ooh. There's nothing inside. But... The bread is a little bit like strawberry-ish. I like this. Mm. It's perfect. So in Australia, this would maybe be like a eight or a nine, right? Sweetness. I'd say it's like a six. Like it's perfect. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. It's a very mild flavor. But at the same time, it's like very mild. So I'm like, wouldn't you just go for a plain one? Like it doesn't have much flavor. This is chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. There's chocolate inside. That's nice. You know how like a chocolate croissant in Australia is like chocolate chips and it's not always melted, it's like quite crunchy? That was really nice. Yeah. Really nicely spread out. We should have started with plain, in hindsight. And last of all, this is plain. A little bit of sugar on the outside, I think. But it's really nice though. I would go back there. Especially for that price. So Kay's new hairstyle and I found this cute little izakaya in one of the buildings at the giant Umeda station. We got some nagaimo, which is kind of like potato, but it's got a very different texture. It reminds me a little bit of daikon. Then obviously we got some cucumbers and a Osaka specialty, these kushikatsu, which are different types of meat and seafood that have been battered and deep fried on its skewers. <laughs> So this is yudofu, which is boiled tofu in a chicken stock broth with some yuzu pepper on top. And then we had some karage because how can we not? And they were so juicy and delicious, totally different from the ones available in Australia. Oh yeah, and the total here came to just $25. Oh, I had been craving Mr. Donuts for months, so I was super happy to come here. Unfortunately, they didn't have my favorite flavor, black sugar, but this was an opportunity to try some new things. All right, let's do it. We chose three flavors that we've never had before, and neither of us. So which one should we start with? This is matcha. Mm, there is matcha inside. It's not too strong, the matcha flavor. And the dose are like light. It's very nice. All right, number two is cha -cha. strawberry pondering. Strawberry pondering. 
this looks delicious. Yum. This just smells really good. Mm. It's such a light flavor. Not overpowering. Just a scent of strawberry. So, there's no strawberry inside for this one. It's just the icing on the top. And finally, hojicha. 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 Han, han. Hojicha han. Mm. Let's give it a shot. This feels different, much heavier. So I think it's like a different dough as well. Mm. Mm. Hojicha. So. Mm. Not as light as the pondering. So yeah, those are the three donuts we chose today. What was your favorite? Hojicha. Mm. Oh really? I think mine was the matcha one. The first one was really nice. Bye!